Hey everybody, it's your friend Daniel Hutchins, and today we are doing a Toxic Spider-Man Dan, part 10 of 20. Now, you guys know the drill, I just have just talk about comic book universe while I'm wearing my Spider-Man mask. So, okay. So, today, we are talking about something that's a little interesting so after 13 years the mcu officially has supervillains now okay so this is kind of interesting so spider-man no way homes in universe marketing has officially given the mcu its first supervillains Noted by the Daily Bugle exclusive. This was from a couple of minutes ago. Okay. So after 13 years of Marvel Cinematic Universe. Finally has Supervillains 2021. Has seen the MCU expand. Becoming the true transmedia initiative for the first time. Stories, characters, and arcs moving effortlessly between the big screen and Disney+. Plus. But in all honesty, Marvel has been experimenting with different mediums for quite some time, including an innovative and universe marketing back when Captain America Civil War debuted in 2016. For this example, Marvel set up the official Newsfront YouTube channel and Twitter account promoting the movie with in-universe news stories. Sony's also followed up some same kind of approach with Spider-Man Far From Home, setting up the official Daily Beagle website. They've converted it with TikTok for Spider-Man No Way Home. Videos are presented by the Daily Beagle's newest unpaid intern, Betty Brandt, who is a classmate of Peter Parker's in Sony Spider-Man films. Betty apparently hopes to gain media experience, but she has already dubbed her as the worst intern ever because she wasn't blaming possible supervillain events from Spider-Man. So the skag was an amusing one. Rifling the relationship between Spider-Man and Jameson in the comics and building on Jameson's hostility towards Peter Parker and Spider-Man. So far from home, post credit scenes have also set it up some important reasons. Okay. So related to this article, No Way Home's Doc Ock joke shows the annoying difference between MCU and Raimi. We're not talking about that, we're talking about someone else. So surprising though, the Daily Beagle TikTok marks the first moment the word supervillain has been used in universe Marvel Cinematic Universe content. We've been experimenting some wildly unseasonable weather with the Big Apple lately, Betty reports. There has to be more of this. There has to be more of this. So we've experienced some intense thunderstorms in New York City before, but crazy lightning wasn't in this week's weather report. Last time we checked, the nearest desert wasn't close enough to cause this sandstorm from Midtown. Does this mean supervillains are back? Well, that's a good fucking question, Betty. That's a good fucking question. So we are going to be talking more about that, y'all. So the word superhero has been established part of MCU since 2008 Iron Man. We already know this, but first used when Tony Stark attempted to deflect attention from the press conference. Finally caving in and admitting he was Iron Man. But Marvel Studios has avoided the word superhero and of course Daily Beagle TikTok accounts run by Sony, meaning that technically this mainstream MCU still has not introduced this term. Still though, the TikTok account is in-universe, so it counts. So, anyway, Sony has officially introduced the word supervillain into MCU dictionary. It's not hard to see why Marvel avoided it, because they're Marvel, what more would you expect? But again, when Marvel launched the MCU, they were initially unsure how viewers will respond 
the comic book tropes played straight from the big screen. That is why even the word superhero was used ironically from Iron Man press conference. Marvel has become increasingly confident over the last 13 years. But their attention has shifted the characters who weren't really called themselves supervillains, gods and monsters, alien invaders and sorcerers. But it makes sense that now, in a world where the public considered superheroes to be a real thing, the public would also start using the word supervillain to describe bad guys. Betty's words, Does this mean supervillains are back? Well, that's a good fucking question, Betty. We are going to be asking... And answering this question, you stupid ass bitch. So, okay, so suggesting that's established part of MC's vocabulary for the first time. Just never used the story before. It's just ironic that Spider Man supervillains are back, but on a big screen, even though they've been technically making a debut since the main MCU timeline. Okay. So, again, let me know what your thoughts are, guys. Let me know what your thoughts are. Again, I'm taking my mask off. Yep, yeah, it's me. So, again, let me know your thoughts. i like to know what you think. And, again, Spider-Man No Way Home releases on December 17th. Followed by Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness on May 6, 2022. So, again... As I've reiterated before and before again, please make sure you leave a comment. I need to see comments. And again, you make sure you subscribe and you have an awesome, awesome day. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.